What's up everybody? This is Flash 001 USA and today is Monday. It's October 23rd, year 2017. It's right at 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm here to tell you, you can see all the leaves on everything, that we got hit with one hell of a storm and there's still a bunch of tornado warnings out. But you can see just all the wind, how it just blew everything everywhere here. Leaves all over the side of the van. See if you can see this all over the side of the house up here. And all over everything. We don't have power. And that's because as I was driving home, I got to see the power lines where they weren't supposed to be. And that was on the ground. So guess what I get to do today? Yep. Them battery packs have been charging in there. But they're going to be put to use today. So we definitely got our butts kicked here. But thank goodness there was no damage to the property here. I did get some free gasifier fuel though right there so that'll make itself into the next video huh i don't know if you can hear the thunder but yes sir it is a mess let's see you can see the top of the roof up here could have been a lot worse though anyhow i thought i would share that kodak moment with everybody because um yeah it was a uh, one hell of a mess out here Okay, on that note, I'm going to sign back off and I'm going to put the house back into the 21st century. All right, guys, I decided to power the camera back up here for a moment. So far, this whole neighborhood, this whole area has been without power for four hours. But as you can see, the Flash 001 USA compound is in the 21st century. Yes, I am proud. Everything is working without any flaws or niches or anything. And uh, I'm going to show you something here. Now, when I first started off, this is with the batteries under load. It was sitting at 12.4 volts. And we dropped one tenth of a volt in four hours. That's running a handful of lights, televisions, even the microwave oven. And I'm getting ready to go inside and plug up the refrigerator. Go ahead and give it some juice. All right, we're back again. It's around 8.30 in the morning. And we never got our power back, but it should be back sometime today. And I'm going to show you something. Yes, we kept our power all night last night. The battery bank tugged the refrigerator, the freezer, the television, a handful of lights. So in a lot of ways, it was like we didn't lose power. So this definitely paid off. Now today... Before I go to work, I'm setting up a tiny little 700 watt generator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replenish the batteries while I'm at work. I'm just going to put a tank of fuel in it, crank it up, and let it roar. But um, let me show you how far the batteries ran down last night with everything running. This is amazing. Twelve point one volts. So this was running starting around four o'clock yesterday and went three tenths of a bolt down i ran the microwave oven one time last night that was about it and we had the refrigerator and freezer going and pretty much had the house lit up pretty nicely so i'd have to say that this was a success now i'm going to take the camera with me to work because we had some damage all around our area here we have some bad damn let me show you guys something cute and cuddly here that's a harbor freight special i paid like 89 bucks for it and it's a two-stroke so you know you put your mixture in there you walk away from it you don't have to worry about it falling low as far as oil or anything goes 750 watts and i'll use that right there just to top off the battery bank while i'm working so when i get home if they don't have the power back on then at least i know the batteries will be somewhat topped off no, no, I to go this is at the end of my road and this is the small here talking to andy <clears throat> they've cut off number 11 that's the main highway through here so they've cut it off yeah buddies 
don't know if you guys can hear the radio I got, but man, they're still digging out over here. Unbelievable. Mark up the state man, you on the way. Guy in the fire truck talking to Andy Judy. Well, this sucks. I gotta see what they're gonna let me do here. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. This goes to show you there's still some roads out in places. I'm going to get the camera out of my hand. I'm going to drive. All right. I'm off work now. And the grid has officially been down for 27 hours and counting. It went off just a little bit before 4 p.m. yesterday. And it's a little bit after 6 p.m. today. Now, I did give them a about a three hour charge this morning off this guy right here, but I only used a 15 amp charger. I used one of these guys right here. But now I'm going to break out Big Bertha and put on it now that I'm here at the house and I can keep an eye on it. But still, regardless, everything's doing good. Now keep in mind, we're running a refrigerator, a freezer, televisions, and half a dozen lights to the house. I'm going to hopefully you'll be able to see the voltage we're sitting at right here right now. We're sitting about 11.9 volts. Well, back up to 12 volts. Not bad. On average, we've been drawing about anywhere between... Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you, know, you can see this if I can zoom in on it and keep it focused. Right now I'm drawing about 5 or 6 amps, but it'll bounce between really on the average between 5 to 50 amps depending if both the refrigerator and freezer kick on at the same time you see something just kicked in right there I'm drawing 20 amps so probably the freezer because it cycles more or something just cycled there regardless um, not bad not bad at all so right now I'm gonna go ahead and gas up the generator again because we may not have power even tonight when they say so I'm not chancing it so I'm gonna go ahead and top off the batteries but just wanted to keep you guys in on the loop on this. Yeah, so far this has really paid off because it was really quick and simple to get out here and just run an extension cord to the house and power everything up. So I'm going to sign back out and get this puppy up and going. Okay, we got the generator running again here. And... Looks like we're drawing about 20 amps off of the charger here go to the voltage side here and it says a little bit over 12 volts just a little bit over let's see what this meter over here reads if I get focus here guys it looks like it was identical pretty much is they're both tracking each other and it looks like Of course, this meter here is always a little bit stingier, but it's still holding around 11.9. Well, there it goes. All right, so that's got us rocking and rolling. I can tell you right now, I really wish I had the alternator motor set up because I could really dump some current into this thing. It'd be like, you know, just how fast the car battery charges up in the car. So there we go. Oh, look at that. Went up to 12.1, then it fell back down, but it's climbing. All right, I'm going to go inside. As soon as I turn this light off. Yeah, just for a quick fix, I could almost get away with charging it with a battery charger. You know, I always keep those batteries maintained. They're always charging on a maintainer, even when, you know, I'm not using them at all. So that's a big payoff right there because, like I said, when we came out here and fired this thing up, there wasn't any issues. And that's the way you want it. All right, we're going to turn the camera back off. We'll catch you guys a little bit later.